Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to be continuing learning about first grade fractions. We will be looking at parts of shapes and learning how to name the fraction. Here's a review of some important fraction words. Whole, halves, thirds, fourths. Remember, when we divide a shape into fractions, we need each part to be equal. Here's a square, but if I divide it into two parts and color in one of the parts, that means I am showing you a fraction of the square. Let's learn how to write this fraction of the square. First, I need to draw a line. Now, we need to figure out what goes on bottom and top of this line. On the bottom, I'm going to put a 2, and that's called our denominator. Denominator is just a fancy word for telling how many parts are in my shape. Well, there are two parts in this shape, one on the left and one on the right. The number on the top for this fraction is going to be 1. The name of our top number is the numerator. That big fancy word is just telling us how many parts are filled in. Well, I have one part filled in, so I have the number 1 on the top. The way we read this fraction is 1 half. One part of two halves is filled in. One on the top, two on the bottom. Great job. Let's check out another shape. Here's a rectangle. I'm going to divide it into two parts again. And again, let's just color in one part. Well, we already know how to fill in this fraction. We have a line. Our denominator goes on the bottom. Two total parts. And our numerator goes on top. The number of parts that are filled in. This one is showing us one half. Great job. One part filled in on top over two parts total on bottom. Here's our next shape. This time I have filled in two sections, but there are three total. Let's think about where we are going to put these numbers on our fraction. Here's our line. Where are we going to put two and where are we going to put three? Remember the denominator goes on bottom and that's saying how many parts are in my shape? Well, how many parts are in this shape? One, two, three. Three goes on bottom. And the top is the numerator. The top is just showing how many parts are filled in. How many of my parts did we fill in? We filled in two. The way we read this fraction is two thirds. There are two parts filled in out of three. Two thirds. Great job. Here's our next shape. One. Only one part is filled in here. Let's see how we're going to fill out this fraction. Here's our bar. What goes on top and what goes on bottom? Remember, bottom is denominator. How many parts are in my shape? Count with me. One, two, three, four. Four goes on bottom because there are four parts in the shape. Now numerator. How many parts are filled in? That's easy, just one. One part. The way we read this fraction is one fourth. There is one part filled in but the shape is divided into fourths. So I'm just showing one fourth of this square being colored in. Great job. Here's one more shape to look at. This one is a long rectangle. How many parts do you count total? How many parts are now filled in? Where are we going to put those numbers? 
our denominator, or how many parts are in my shape, goes on the bottom. How many is that? Four. The numerator, or how many parts are filled in, goes on the top. Can you count how many are filled in? Three. Great job. The way we read this fraction is three-fourths. There are three parts filled in, and there are four total parts. Three of the fourths are filled in. So this shape is showing us three-fourths. Here we see four different shapes with four different fractions filled in. Let's see if we can match the shapes to the correct fractions. Our first fraction is 1 over 3. That is read 1 third. That means we need three total sections and one filled in. This is showing 1 third. Great job. Our next fraction is 2 thirds. That means we need three total sections and two of those parts filled in. Which of these shapes is showing two-thirds? Great job! The blue rectangle. Next fraction. We need four total sections with three sections filled in. Which shape is showing us three-fourths? That's the yellow square. Great job. And our last fraction is 1 half. That means we need two total parts with just one part filled in. Can you see the shape showing 1 half? It's right there, the green triangle. Great job. Let's review. Numerator means the top number, and it's the number of colored parts. Right there! In this fraction, you can see that the numerator is 1. Denominator is the bottom number and the total number of parts. Right there! In this fraction, you can see that the denominator, or bottom number, is 2. A few more words to remember are halves or half. That means there are two parts in the shape. Thirds means there are three parts. And fourths means there are four parts. You can do this, boys and girls.